Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem HaRakakwadash, that will honor to my apostles and elders of great millstone that taught me this truth, and a sincere Shalom, while Barak to the hopeful elect, you men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth, in this doctrine, throughout the four winds of the world, to you, I say Shalom. All right, the title of this lesson is going to be The Most Highest Torment in Puerto Rico. And he's tormenting Puerto Rico with earthquakes right now. These people are, they don't know whether to go back in the house, whether they'll have a house, okay? And it all started, I believe, Tuesday when a earth, the big earthquake hit out there and it destroyed homes and it killed one person. But um, it's several, 500 or so or more aftershocks. And, you know, the people are, are on edge over there. But it's well-deserved because Ephraim, which is this tribe of, excuse me, Ephraim, which is a tribe of, with, no, Ephraim, which is the so-called Puerto Ricos, Puerto Ricans, excuse me, is the head tribe of the Northern Kingdom. And all they do over there, you know, they, I'm pretty sure they're praying to Jesus Christ right now, which is a false idol, all right? Uh, they, they they have the, um, the, the, the uh, what is it, the... Um, the Guadalupe, uh, Mary in their house. They have a little shrine. You know, they're in the, they're heavy into idolatry over there in um in Puerto Rico. Those Ephraimites. Okay, they some of them are into voodoo and, and things of that nature. All right, and the Most High is fed up. All right, so he's going to continue to torment Puerto Rico with with plagues, um, whether it be earthquakes or it could be another hurricane. Who knows? Okay, but you know the Most High is not playing right now. And this is the time. The, the last days that we're in the end, it's going to, it's going to, just everything's going to heat up for you Israelites. All right, you Israelites that don't want to get right, you Israelites that want to continue to um, walk after the ways of Esau, okay? Want to continue to, to put your trust in um, false gods, false deities, put your trust in Christianity, put your trust in Catholicism, all right? The Most High is going to continue to jack you Israelites up. And this is only, this is only the tip of the iceberg. This is small, all right? The Most High could, if you wanted to, he could uh, put an earthquake over there, 9.0, 10 point something over the rector scale and, and, and split that damn island uh, completely in half, okay? And I'm, hey, in the last days we're living in, you're going to see things like that, all right? You're going to see things that you never thought you'd see, things that you would thought you would see on a movie somewhere, all right? So let me read a little bit of this article and I'll put some precepts and lower than this lesson is edifying to the elect. Or right, it says, an earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 6.0 rattled Puerto Rico on Saturday morning, the U.S. Geological Survey report. The quake was about eight miles south of Indios, Puerto Rico, in the Caribbean Sea, the, UG, the, USG, the USGS said, in the depth of 6.2 miles. Puerto Rico has been rattled by timblers throughout the week, including a 6.4 magnitude quake that killed at least one man, destroyed a yeah, 6.4 magnitude quake Tuesday that killed at least one man and destroyed homes and left most of the island without power. A 5.2 magnitude aftershock struck on Friday. So, A, hey, every day, the Most High is, is, is hitting, hitting you Ephraimites with, um, with, um, with, with these earthquakes. All right? The U.S. Ter the US territory was expecting power, power to return on Saturday to its 3 million residents, and authorities had tweeted that 95% restored a couple of hours before the quake. All right, so that's that. That's that. Uh, uh, when there's peace and safety, scripture in us, uh, uh, First Thessalonians four. All right, when you think that everything is all good, everything's going to be back to the way it was. Bam, the Most High hit they ass with another earthquake. Okay, um, let me see. Parts of Lair's, uh, parts of Lair, Larry's, Ajuntas, Ponce, and San, Salakia, San Germain. Lost electric, electrical service after Saturday's quake, the power company Electric Energy Authority said. After the, after the tremor, power was about 93% of the island, was, was on to about 93% of the island, the Puerto Rican Electric Power Authority said. Since December 28th, about 500 earthquakes of magnitude 2.0 or higher have hit Puerto Rico. All right, so this is a real short article, but... You gotta, you know, if you you have spiritual eyes to see, you see the Most High is not messing around right now. All right, the Most High, it, 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 he's fed up. He's fed up with the idolatry. He's fed up with Jake. He's fed up with you wicked ass niggas. All right, this is um the book of uh Second Ezra, chapter nine and verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then thou then thou shalt understand those signs are the prophecies. All right, earthquakes are prophesied in this 
in the scriptures, okay, that, that there will be earthquakes in diverse places according to Matthew, the 24th chapter, Mark, the 13th chapter, um, Luke, the 21st chapter, that there will be di earthquakes in diverse places when um, uh, when the Lord was, you know, about to make his return. Oh, and that's part of the signs. Verse 2, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. All right. And Puerto Rico had both of those. Puerto Rico people were just in uprising, uh trying to throw their um their 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 uh their president out or governor out or whatever over there. Whoever their appointed leader was, they they were marching at his um at his mansion, you know, um demanding that he, you know, uh, uh um, get out of office. Okay. And of course they had earthquakes, over five hundred earthquakes from uh, the 28th, December 28th, until now. All right, two weeks, 500 earthquakes or more, more than likely, okay? But hey, you Israelites, hey, it's going to be two, there's going to be two-thirds of Israelite that's not, going to wake, that's not going to wake up to this truth, that's not going to come back to the heritage, and they're going to have to get judged, whether they be in America or Puerto Rico or South America, Central America, wherever they may be in the world, wherever you Israelites are scattered throughout the four winds amongst these heathens, all right, you're going to get judged, and you're going to get judged swiftly. Okay, um, next scripture I want to get is the book of Hosea. I have a few scriptures in Hosea, actually, I want to touch on. Um, this is uh, Hosea 4 and verse 17. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. Okay, so Ephraim has always been, you know, the book of, it's not the book of the, uh, the tribe of Ephraim, which is the head tribe of the northern kingdom, have always been uh, um, fixated with, with, with idols, all right? Uh, all the way back to the um, Assyrian uh, captivity, okay? And when they came over here, they, they began to, you know, they, they tried to follow the law, and commandments, but they reverted back to their false idols, worshiping the sun, uh, um, you know. And, of course, when uh, the conquistadors, the, the French, the uh, English came over here and they gave them Christianity, you know, it was hook, line, and sinker, all right? They were all in, all right? Jesus is their, Jesus is their, uh, their Lord and Savior, Okay? And, you know, it says, let him alone. It says, cast, that means, I think that let him alone, I looked it up, it means uh, uh, cast out, okay? Uh, let me jump over to uh, Hosea 5, and um, I'm going to start at verse 3. I know Ephraim and Israel is not hid from me. For now, O Ephraim, thou committest whoredoms, and Israel is defiled. All right, they committed whoredoms because they they, they went among, um, they went following out these false idols and deities, OK, they will not they will not frame their doings to turn unto the uh, turn unto the most high for the spirit of whoredoms is in the midst of them and they have not known the Lord. All right. So that spirit of whoredoms has always been in the midst of Ephraim. OK. And, and you know, and until they um, not acknowledge their offenses, the most High is going to continue to jack them up. OK, because I know a lot of these Ephraimites is, you know, over there praying with their rosaries and praying to, to, to Jesus, to, you know, to, to stop the to stop the um, stop the earthquakes and, you know, let things go back to like they were. No, things ain't going to never go back to like they were. Things are going to get worse. All right. And, and, and the most high is jacking you Ephraimites up man. and what other what other tribes are mixed amongst you, um, you, um, you Ephraimites over there also. OK, Um let me get this real quick. This is Second Thessalonians, excuse me. First Thessalonians, uh, four, and let me see. No, excuse me, five, five, and I'm gonna start at uh, verse two. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night, and that's how that earthquake came. That earthquake comes, and you don't know when it's coming. That's the cold part of it. You don't want a hurricane it's coming, a tornado. Okay, you know when some of these natural disasters are coming. The earthquake is like, you know, that's the, that's the, 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 the most high. Is always most high is always in control, but that earthquake comes like a thief in the night because you could be everything could be all good and every next thing you know your house is your house your house is flat as a pancake. Okay, for then, back to the verse. For when they shall say peace, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, okay? So they thought everything was good, you know, the, the, the tremors, the aftershocks were over, you know, they're about to get their power back, bam, next thing you know, a 6.0 magnitude earthquake 
hits him, knocks their power out again, all right, or or what they thought they were about to get uh, uh, is 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 a a sense of comfortability, a sense of uh, relief, okay. And the Most High had something else waiting for their ass, and the Most High is going to continue to jack you Ephraimites up. He's going to jack up all the he's going to jack up all the um all the all the tribes, okay. But hey, this is hey, this is the, the, the power of the Most High. This is just the Most High letting you know that you know he not he's not effing around no more. All right, he's tired of you you Ephraimites um, worshiping these idols. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, got a few more scriptures. This is um, First Peter four, and I'm gonna start at verse seventeen. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. For if it begin with at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the Most High? All right, so the time has come for you Israelites to wake up out of sleep. Judgment is being, judgment is going out. And those Ephraimites actually got a chance because only one person died. All right, and with the damage that they show, you know, more people should have perished. All right, but judgment is being, is going out. And you Ephraimites, you got a small little grace period to come back to the Lord. And then you know there's a remnant of Ephraim on that island that's going to come back. It's going to acknowledge their offenses. They're going to come back to the uh, law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai. They're going to call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai when their travail comes. Okay? But two-thirds of majority are not. Okay? And they're going to get judged. All right? And it's the most high that's put, handing out judgment. Or it's nobody else. It ain't the tectonic plates and, you know, this. No, it's the Most High. This is Amos 3 and uh, 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? All right, the Lord is doing this. All right, the Lord says in uh, Samuel, I, I kill it and I make it alive. Okay, so the Most High is, 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 in, is in ultimate control. And he's jacking you Ephraimites up for all your whoredoms, for all your idolatry. Okay, that takes place on that island. All right, witchcraft. Okay. And he's showing his power, all right? And, you know, we live in these times where, you know, um, it's more judgment going to be going out. It's going to be more earthquakes. It's going to be more uprisings. It's going to be, you obviously see kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation, all right, with the the uprising, the tensions in um in the Middle East and other parts of the world. All right, so we're living in the last days. And if you Ephraimites, you Israelites, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and you Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathens don't wake up, you could be a you could you're gonna be a part of judgment, all right. And this earthquake may not be just a 6.0 with one casualty and some destroyed homes. It's gonna be a 10.0 with a, a massive destruction, massive deaths, all right. Amongst other uh, uh, judgments that's gonna be going out, um, and, um, in 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 plagues sent from the heavenly Father, all right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I like to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? But Hashem, I recall Kudash, step on to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.